What's up, YouTube? I hope everyone is out there kicking butt, hitting up garage sales, thrifting, whatever it is you got to do. Um, I myself, I think I did pretty well, and I'm going to show you my haul. Let's check it out. So I stopped at four garage sales and an estate sale. Um, today I spent a total of $44.25. So I'm just going to show you from the end of my day, and I'll work my way to the beginning, because I feel like the, the stuff I found at the beginning of the day was my best stuff. So you know the later you go in the day for a garage sale, the less likely you're going to find a good awesome item, but um, you are likely to actually get a good deal on an item. So um, I did find at the last garage sale I went to this Wii Mario Party 8. Um, I did pay $4. I didn't even try to negotiate. Um, I think the game I can sell it for $24.99. It's used, but it has... It's complete and the disc is in really good shape. So yeah, four dollars into twenty-four ninety-nine. That should be should sell pretty quick. Alright. The next garage sale I went to, I picked up this um Silversmith belt buckle for 25 cents. And I believe, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um I believe that they go for around 15 to 20 bucks. So 25 cents into 15 or 20 bucks. Um, yeah, I'll do that all day long, especially since it's so small. I can send this first class and um, yeah, so 25 cents plus $3 and something for shipping. Um, yeah, after fees, it's, I mean, I'm still gonna have a good amount of profit left. All right, so prior to those two garage sales, I did go to an estate sale and um, I spent $25 there. SAS shoes, SAS, whatever. They're the uh, timeout men's walking shoe, size 10 and a half wide. Um, again, I think for these items, I did pay on average $1.71 per item. So I think they got some good deals in there. But yeah, these are $30 plus shipping all day long. So. Good find. A board game, Shakespeare board game. It's from uh, Bookcase Games and it is from 1966. It's complete. Um, I don't think it's ever been played. It doesn't look like it. Um, let me see. I'll open it up and show you guys. Yeah, so inside looks like this. Pretty nice looking. I mean, I don't think it's ever been played. But anyways, um, if I were to resell it, I could probably get $20 for it. But um, this is a game that we're going to take to take on vacation with us. And we'll play it and have a good time with it. So it's a, that's a keeper. This item. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> it just keeps going and going. Um, yeah, I thought it would be would be worth more than it is, um, but yeah, you could. I think you could buy one of these for ten dollars on eBay. It's from actually the tag even says it's from nineteen ninety three. You can see that. Yeah. Uh, there anyways um, yeah so whenever I was a kid this is like this guy was on every other commercial just rolling across your screen beating his drum just keep going and going um, yeah so for nostalgic purposes I picked it up um, I don't know I might sell it but I think it's super cool maybe I should list it for Easter and tell people it's an Easter stocking <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah, it's not. It's, there's not a lot of value in it, and I, I think there's a lot of them listed on eBay right now. So the market's pretty saturated. But again, I thought it was cool. It is cool, and uh, yeah, I'm, I usually pick up things that are, I think are cool. Um, next, I got these Bumblebee Polo Sport Ralph Lauren swim trunks. They're my size, but I will definitely sell these. Um, a lot of these things I haven't looked up price comparisons on. Uh, so 
if you think you know what it is, comment below. Um, I probably won't get to listen to, get to list these items for a week or so. So if you beat me to it, that's very helpful. Comment below prices. <laughs> Um, next is a vintage t-shirt. You can see the tag here, a vintage tag, made in the USA. Um, sportswear, 50-50 shirt. Now this is like a pretty well built shirt. It's got like a, I don't know what you would call that. Um, anyways, it says Valley Patriots and I don't even know what that is. But it's an old shirt, almost like new shape. So I'll pick it up and list it as a vintage shirt on eBay and Poshmark and see if it sells. <laughs> this next thing, I don't know, I'm kind of uh, doing it, taking a gamble. I don't know, not a gamble, but uh, I think this stuff right here is like the fashion trend right now. This is actually a casual aisle. You can see. Casual Isle brand, and uh, that's her logo, a couple of palm trees. Um, but yeah, it's a cool like teal color windsuit. It's got the pants in here. And I'm almost certain that this jacket might be reversible. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely reversible. Like if Will Smith got this on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he's gonna flip it inside out and wear it like this. No, like this, where everyone else is going to be wearing there, like this. But anyways, it's a women's, um, everything's in good shape, so it's got the zipper, cuff, elastic, drawstring, like I don't think she, the person that had this ever wore it, and in fact, I say that, I don't think they ever wore it. They may have intended to, but did it. So, anyways, these vintage windsuits do pretty well. Um, I'll throw it up there for 40, 50 bucks. It, we'll see. Next is a snorkeling t-shirt. It says Dive Belize. And you can see you've got your, it's printed on here over the shoulder. It's like your snorkel. Um, but on the back, <laughs> It's Belkin beer as your oxygen tank. But uh, yeah, I've got it. I think the subject matter is pretty cool. It's got the beer, scuba diving, Belize. Um, yeah, so I think it's cool. It's a medium. I could actually probably fit it, but yeah. I don't know. I again, I haven't looked at comps. If you've ever seen anything like this before, I just think a, to be able to do a graphic over the shoulder, I mean, you can kind of see that whoever printed it struggled because like even the screen printing is kind of on the shoulder kind of a little sloppy but uh i think it's super awesome uh next this is for sure a vintage shirt it's a thick cotton uh world cup usa 94 shirt it is on a dry cleaner tag for some reason um but Let's take it off and see what kind of shirt it is. Ah. Let's see. Marina, made in the USA. But the only thing I don't like about shirts like this is it says uh, right there at the top, one size fits all, which is not true. This is a humongous shirt. I think it's more like an XL. So shirts like this, I'll have to measure pit to pit, back collar down, and um, put appropriate measurements on there because <laughs> on eBay, one size fits all doesn't really work for me. Um, or a buyer. A buyer is not going to be okay with that. But here, there's another tag down here at the bottom. World Cup USA 94. And actually, that says copyright 91, W's World Cup 94. So, yeah, pretty cool shirt. It's, it's not, I'm trying to see. Yes, it is a single stitch. You can see that. But 
full shirt. It's white, so there are some slight stains on it, but I don't know. Overall, it's in good shape. Uh, next, I got this purple Tommy Hilfiger dress shirt. And size large. Pretty good shape. Those sell all the time for me, especially the ones that have the, the emblem on the chest, whatever that's called. The crest. The crest on the chest. Um, this one I think is a little better. It's a little bit more flamboyant, but it's Tommy Hilfiger. I believe this is also a size large. Yes, size large. Uh, but it has a few more colors in it. So has a dry cleaner tag on it. Um, I wish it were an all over stripe like that, but it's got a straight green back. Uh, but I can list, I think this crest is even a little bit bigger than the other one. But, you know, I could list Tommy Hilfiger color block, um, button down, button down, and uh, depending on the price, if I list it too high, I probably won't sell very fast, but if I list it, Right in the sweet spot, which would probably be around under 20 bucks, maybe 20, 21 would probably be the high end. Um, it'll sell pretty quickly. Uh, this one, just a, this look good for the spring. It's a short sleeve, Ralph Lauren polo, classic fit, button down, short sleeve. I just thought this was, it was real springy looking. So with Easter around the corner, Somebody will, somebody will want this. Maybe they'll do family pictures in it. But yep, yeah, cool shirt. Um, the next one, it's kind of a local item. Uh, I went to West Texas A&M University, and this is a like a almost like a letter jack varsity bomber type jacket. Um, it's almost almost satin, but it's in really great shape. Um, like the sleeves, there's no stains. The buttons still have their enamel on them. It is a made in the USA. Um, yeah. Anyways, on the back, it says WTSU. So prior to my school being WTAMU, it was West Texas State University. So I can actually get a date from this. And I don't remember when it was that they changed their name. But it was a while back. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is... These are like letters that are sewn on there. Cool jacket. And I don't know if somebody out, oh, it's got like cool stripes on the sleeve. But I don't know if uh, somebody on eBay would want this versus somebody in town might want this. But I am gonna list it on eBay and see what happens. But overall, it's, it's a pretty sweet jacket. I think it might be a women's large. Um, next, again, I haven't priced this, but this was a starter sweater, solid color, maroon. Um, it's an older one, but it's a heavyweight, large, uh, pro 80 starter sweatshirt. I mean, the newer ones I sell for $19, $20 now, so... I'll at least get that for this old one, maybe a little more, but it's a pretty heavy sweater, sweatshirt. So, yeah. And I believe this was the last thing I got from that estate sale. Pretty odd looking, but it, it is a, I forget the brand, Country Suburbans. Um, See, again, I thought it was just like a regular sweatshirt with like a cool like 80s pattern on it, 90s pattern. Uh, but now that I'm messing with it, I don't know if it's the hanger or this. Oh, yeah. It's got shoulder pads. So um, that might date it a little bit too. I think it's cool. I think it'd be pretty desirable to throw it out there. If the right person finds it, they'd probably pay a decent amount for it. 25, maybe more, I don't know, but it's kind of abstract art, it's pretty cool looking. So that was that for the estate sale, thought I did pretty well. Um, 
the next two were the were the first two garage sales I actually went to. And I think this garage sale that, that I'm about to show you, I didn't do so well as far as um, paying a, a good price for the things, um, the items. The guy was an older guy, and I just loved his stories. He was telling me about um, how he, he's from Iowa. He used to work for a gas company, and he showed me all his uh, vintage hats. And um, I just, I have a lot of hats right now. I don't need more. But um, uh, he used to own the state record in Iowa for a striper. And it was like 16 something pounds. It was, it was a large fish. And uh, so we just talked about fishing stories. And I just kind of got drawn in. And anyways, I ended up paying sticker price for his items, which I don't normally ever do, even though I paid that for the Wii game. But $4 for that game was a good deal. So I wasn't going to argue. Um, but the stuff I bought from this guy, uh, he, I don't know, I more or less bought them for like nostalgic reasons and like just the date on these things are, they're, they're in the, from the nineties, but this, this is a tiger game jeopardy from 1995 It has the cartridge in it. Now I know these aren't worth a lot of money. Uh, I paid two fifty for it, but, and I could easily get. 14 or 15 dollars for it on ebay um but i have the will of fortune version of this and i think it's fun just to mess around with and um, just kind of brings me back to the 90s whenever tiger handhelds were super cool and uh yeah so i didn't even argue him 250 whatever um i might keep it for myself for a while and then later on down the road sell i don't know and then the other thing I got from him, again, I'm a big time fisherman and I'm, I'll probably pick this up every time I see it, even though it's not worth a lot of money. Um, it's brand new in box from 1990. It's a mini fisherman. And uh, you can see, like, if you just want to clip it on your belt, <laughs> since you had all the space back in the day, people didn't have cell phone holsters and <laughs> on their belts back in the day. You can clip it on your belt. Um, you can show it to your son. I, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, it says the rod stores the handle. Wait. Rod stores and handle. I'm not literate. I just misread. Um, you can go ice fishing. Perfect for ice fishing. Um, and it fits in a tackle box. So, yeah. And actually, I'm going to open it up. Because it's as seen, seen on TV item, and I don't remember seeing it. It's 1990. Let's see. So inside here is a little, it's like a little tackle box. Let's see what's in there. Oh yeah. So we've got weights. I don't know what was supposed to be in there, but a lot of fish hooks. A lot. And then we got some swivels. Pretty cool little tackle box. Um, I think for something like this, I would put it in my truck. And if my son and I are going down the road and um, see a place to fish, we might just stop. Okay, yeah. It seems like he's got that hooked on here. But yeah, it's like... I don't know how far it collapses. Telescopic. Needs to be relined. But nonetheless. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's as far as it goes. Okay. So it's, it really is literally like a small fishing pole, which is fine because um, my sons are both little, but um, if you get them like a, a <laughs> oh, I gotta do it. I have to do it. I have to do this. Oh yeah, that's official. <laughs> Anyways, so the longer reels are hard for them to cast because they're so short um like again one my oldest is six so what we've been doing is buying them shorter fishing poles 
that are meant for like jigging or fishing off a dock and they just tear it up with casting um so yeah this is right up your alley because i'm not going to sell it i won't get much out of it i think that it's like 15 dollars, and i actually paid the guy 10 bucks for it so it's worth more to me than it is to somebody on ebay so anyways neat little find from the 90s that was super cool and it will get used definitely will get used we'll do with that okay so the first garage sale i went to this morning was awesome so i bought four shirts um something else which is a surprise i'll, I'll show you last and a um i want to say his name is um bumble from uh rudolph red nose reindeer and i don't know where he is he's here somewhere where is he I didn't find Bumble. He's right here. But so I bought for the four shirts, one other item, and this. And um, so that's a total of six items. But the lady told me that for all four shirts that I got, that would equal a dollar. So 25 cents a piece. And then a dollar for this and a dollar for the other item. And she said five dollars. And I was like, I started counting and I said, hey. Uh, I just want to make sure that um, I'm giving you the right amount because I don't want to short you. And she's like, "No, no, no! You got four dollars for the or a dollar for the four shirts, a dollar for the bumble, and dollar for the other item." And I was like, "That's that's not five dollars, but okay, I'll pay you five dollars whenever you told me I could have it for three. Anyways, so I'm not argue because the other item, the last item I'm going to show you, was such a good item. That I would have paid her way more than that. Um, but anyways, so Bumble, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He is from 2000. And it is a playing Mantis brand. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you see that. He has really gross toes. But this is around a $20 figure. Little furry guy. But I don't know. Here lately, I've been picking up a lot of this stuff because I, I I don't know if it's because Christmas is over and people are getting rid of this stuff. Um, oh, so remind <laughs> about that garage sale. So on their listing on um, yard sale treasure map, they said um, a lot of bear teddy bears, um, like bear figurines, bears like bears everywhere. They're like porcelain, like literally from inside of her garage to the end of her driveway was bear items. Like some bears as big as me, some bears as small as like this little figure, like so small. Um, but it was thousands of bears. She even had in her front yard a blanket with beanie babies all over it. But I sorted through, found this guy. Um, anyways, but it's funny that she had the bears, but I'll show you in a minute why. Because again, there's a, a vintage shirt that I never find. And if, I, if you know what I'm talking about, whenever I say bears, um, you probably already know, but I'll show you those in a minute. So anyways, I'll show you the shirts. The first one is a sweater. It's a vintage, uh, on the jerseys tag, 2X. It is Maple Leaf Festival. And I don't know like what year this happened, but that's a 1956 Studebaker. And this is on a, a white sweatshirt, pretty clean. Um, yeah, I just, the subject matter was too cool. The graphic was semi-neat. And, uh, yeah, Studebaker, Maple Leaf Festival. I don't know. I'm excited to find out about this. If you know more about it, comment below. Uh, the next thing is a the Disney Store and Mickey Mouse embroidered men's polo. I don't know. I guess it could be unisex. But it is an extra large. It's a pretty big polo. But you, anything Mickey Mouse, and especially extra large, is going to do well. So, picked it up, 25 cents. So, again, I referenced the Bears. I've seen these shirts. I remember them whenever I was a kid, and I just never, ever find them. But I got two polo bear shirts. So this one's polo sport. And this one is Polo by Ralph Lauren. 
Um, this one's a long sleeve. It's red. Um, and it's, it's a size 2XL. So I'm not upset about that. But um, Polo Bear. I don't know what he's doing here. I don't know what he's just like hanging out for the winter. Just ready, <laughs> ready to go out in the snow. But again, the Polo Bear is like a real iconic uh, graphic. And I'm really excited to have found one. And to find two is even better. So this dude's like ready for hockey, USA Hockey, Polo Sport. Um, this is an XL t-shirt. It is a single stitch. I mean, it does have a little wear back here on the back of the shirt, but overall it's in very good condition and I'm just excited to have them. Um, I look forward to posting them. Um, I, I really don't know the price on them yet. I mean, I would assume upwards 30 40 I don't I don't know um, maybe more I, I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I've seen like these graphic shirts go for a lot so really excited to have them and the last item I couldn't believe is that it was at a garage sale and I couldn't believe that I got it for a dollar I mean I didn't get it for a dollar because the lady overcharged me two dollars so I technically I guess I paid three dollars for it um, but it has to do with Benjamin Franklin and Model 10. BB gun, air, air rifle, air rifle. Um, yeah, so I think this one works. Uh, but no, the, the pump is a little slack. I think that's because it needs to be um, worked on because I think the, in, the insides of it um, wear out and they just probably need to be replaced and then lubricated or whatever. So, but yeah, very old BB gun. Um, if you can see, it says Benjamin Franklin right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the other side, it says caliber BB model 310 on right here, and there's the safety. I don't know if it works. Um, but yeah, if I sell it as is, I'll get $140 for it. So yeah, keep an eye out for vintage BB guns. So what I'll probably do is I'll take, since the buttstock's pretty worn, I'll take uh, like some wood cleaner and wipe it down and then um, I don't know I, I might try to uh, there are replacement parts that you can get and I might replace the insides of it and um, see it well I'll look into see if that will improve my profit it may not um, but I know a guy that actually had one of these refurbished and he paid $60 but he sent it off and they sent it back to him for 60 bucks. And um, so I can't imagine that it's too much money if I buy the stuff myself and do it myself to fix it. Um, but yeah, super cool find. I'm not really sure the date on it, but it's this is an antique for sure. Um, yeah. So, but if you don't go out and look, you're not going to find this kind of stuff. So again, I hope everyone had an awesome weekend hunting. Uh, get out there. Keep hustling. Um, again, I thank you guys for watching, taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, please leave some comments, like if you haven't already, subscribe, and um, I'll provide some more content like this in the future. See you next time, guys.